even though it's only 120 volts, I say only, it can cause very serious damage. What's up, everybody? You're watching Bob's Decline, Lyman Blogger. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Aaron. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for about 18 years now. Today, I wanted to go over an incident that happened at my workplace, at our workplace, uh, that involved a piece of equipment making contact with low voltage, 120 volts. The reason I wanted to share this with you all is to show, even though it's only 120 volts, how much power is actually behind electricity in the right circumstances. We're gonna have to make this one quick. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I had some stuff going on in my personal life. So everything is done deal now. Um, my, my family and I bought a new home. So we're super excited, um, but we actually had a huge storm roll in during the move. So we pretty much threw all the boxes in the garage. Nothing's unpacked. We're sleeping on mattresses on the floor right now. So if the wife catches me editing this tonight and not putting our beds together, it might not go so good. So we're going to make this quick, guys. Um, the reason, again, I wanted to show you this is, is to show that even though it's only 120 volts, it can be very serious. It can, it can still be lethal at that voltage. When you hear the saying, it's not the voltage that kills, it's the amperage. I, I hate hearing that from people. It can be extremely misleading um, in this particular case right here you'll see there's there's actually no amperage on this line this is 120 240 volt triplex the meters pulled off um if you were to put a voltmeter across you'll see something like 122 124 volts phase to ground and the amperage is going to be zero we have two live leads coming down into those two lugs we got 120 volts in this guy 120 volts in this guy so right now the power in the building is still off once we put the meter on it's going to bridge the gap between these two guys power is going to flow out of here through the meter, into this guy and into their panel. Now that doesn't mean that this is safe in any way, shape or form. If I were to say, grab a hold of one of those live phases with my right hand, grab a hold of that neutral with the left, I'm gonna make a complete, I'm gonna complete that circuit. There's gonna be a path and then you will see that amperage. It's almost like if you turn on your garden hose, there's water in the hose, but it's not flowing. The flow, the amperage is the flow. So as soon as you squeeze that trigger, that water starts flowing, there's your amperage. Same thing with the power lines. It might not be feeding anything, but if you make contact with it, that's when you complete the circuit. That's when you squeeze the trigger of that hose. That's gonna create the flow. The line coming out of the transformer to your home, that 120 volts, it doesn't sound like much. It's not fused. If there's a dead short, you've gotta rely on the fuse on the primary side and that cutout to blow. And it takes quite a beating before it'll actually blow. So if you make contact let's say with your body on a secondary side between a phase and a neutral, that's not gonna draw anywhere near enough amperage to blow that fuse, but there is gonna be enough amperage that can cause serious injury. So I don't wanna get into any procedural steps. I wasn't there when this happened. Uh, the lineman that was involved, a very good lineman, uh, I would work with him any day of the week. In fact, I do work with him quite a bit. He's uh, a very, very well-trained, experienced lineman. Um, great guy, was following all the steps, had all this PPE on. Unfortunately, there was an accident. There was there was no injuries. Um, safety glasses were, were worn, which is the, one of the most important pieces of PPE when there's an arc flash is your safety glasses and all of his FR clothing. Wintertime helps when you get the big coat and stuff on. But the item in question was actually an impact gun. So a lot of times it's, it's super normal to work on secondary while it's live. You could be tightening up a dead end unit using an impact gun and uh, you're gonna, that neutral, basically those bolts you're hooked onto are part of the neutral wire. So if another metal part of your gun hits a phase or if there's a crack in the insulation or a bare phase, that's gonna create a path through the drill. So this is solid steel. And you can see right here, that blew a hole through solid steel. Now that's only 120 volts. We're not talking 7,000, 69,000. That's 120 volts come in through here and out through the side of that 
steel collar and it blew a hole right through the steel. Now, not only did it blow a hole through that steel, but as the current was traveling through the socket, there's a removable, um, whatchamacallit there, chuck, whatever. Anyways, as the current passed through that socket, it actually welded the socket onto the removable adapter. And this collar no longer moves at all. It also completely melted that steel. So the drill still works. She's a little, little lopsided. But that's 120 volts, guys. Um, I can only imagine the sparks that were flying off this thing. Even a, a piece of that steel, that's going to be liquid metal. If a piece of that lands on your neck, your face, anything at all, that can cause some very serious burns. Um, even the head, it warped the shape of the head. And I know I've said this 10 times in this video, but that's 120 volts. So, so for those of you that are watching that aren't linemen, um, anytime you're working on stuff in your house, you know, you get your 120 volts, you may have had an incident and the breaker popped. It's not very dramatic. And then you go out in the field during a storm and you see some lines coming off a street light and you say, oh geez, you know, that's only 120 volts. I work on that all the time. I'm just gonna kick it off the road, whatever. It still can be very serious stuff. That 120 volts can cause a lot of damage. When that fuse doesn't pop, it just keeps pumping out that current. It will burn, as you've seen, through solid steel quite effortlessly. Um, I'm sure there's lots of you linemen out there that have seen pairs of bolt cutters. When someone grabbed all three wires and triplex and tried to give that a snip, it pretty much disintegrates a hole into your set of bolt cutters the size of the wire. It doesn't take much. And to see it in person, it's extremely violent. There's a lot of, a lot of heat, a lot of sparks flying at your face. You gotta take this stuff serious. So I know guys, a lot of times we get pretty involved in the comment section discussing procedures and um, kind of what went on in a video. And like I said, I wasn't there when this incident happened. I don't really want to discuss the incident in the comments. What is important to know is that nobody was hurt, all PPE was worn, and an incident like this we can all use as a learning experience. As a reminder that even though it's only 120 volts, I say only, it can cause very serious damage. That's solid steel, so you can imagine what kind of heat was involved to melt that and what it can do uh, to the skin on your body or, you know, if, if, if ever a piece of that landed on your face, that hot metal hit you in the eyeball or in the face or something, it can cause some very, very serious damage. So that's it for today, guys. I'm going to try to get this one whipped up tonight there. Uh, I got all kinds of unpacking to do at the house. It's a nightmare. But we're excited. Everything is good on this end. Um, oh, and we got a new product that might be coming it's this thing's going to be a game changer for our trade for working storm so i'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet uh still kind of working on a few things we're hoping to cover this in a video maybe even within the next few weeks so if you're not subscribed consider doing so keep your eye open you're going to see something really neat coming up in the near future i'm hoping fingers crossed other than that guys thanks for stopping in Drop me a fist bump. Let me know where you're watching from and we'll see you next time.